next guest, they don't really need an introduction, but it is my job to introduce them. So I need a round of applause for Miss Afshar and Matt! Come on, come on! Welcome to my living room! Hi! Hello! Please, make yourself comfortable. It was a long day yesterday and even longer today, so now you have time to chill on the couch with us. So, last day of Comic-Con, how are you feeling? Tired. Tired, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I need some coffee, I think, at some point. At um, some point, coffee? Yes, We yes. can arrange that for you, sir, we can do it. Well, it's, it's immediately post-lunch. And so I've got that kind of post-lunch fatigue. Oh, uh, you got the, the, the slump. I'm, I'm failing, I yes. Boat. So I need you all to, to get us up. There we go. Yes. Now the, the audience is being amazing. This is you on the screen, that is. Yes. Sure. Yeah, just a, a tiny bigger version. <laughs> so the audience is amazing and I know they are ready to ask questions. Are you ready to ask questions? Yes. Questions, please. So good questions, good, questions. good spicy, juicy questions, and my lovely assistant is there with the microphone that it was disinfected. So yes, let's go on. First question, shoot. Hello. Um, my question is, uh, who is your favorite Harry Potter character? Who's that? I mean, it's. I'm not just saying this, um, but I say it every comic card, but it is Neville. Um, I'm, not just, I'm actually not just saying it because it, Matt's here, but I've, I've mentioned it at every comic card. It is Neville, I just think we're, we're all, we've all got a bit of Neville in us, to be honest. Yeah, and I just think he's had the biggest, I know it sounds really like, oh, but he's had the biggest journey throughout the films. <laughs> and when we first see him, he's just, or like read about him, he's just that, the character that we love and then at the end he's just the character that we even love even more so for me and i'm not just saying this because matt's here i promise you i would <laughs> never i would never but yeah neville is my actual favorite character uh that's amazing I'm and sorry. also the fact that matt that's, plays him can we have cool. a round of applause for matt and play him the perfect neville i think definitely uh but that's very kind i like i like neville um I mean, you know, besides the obvious, I, uh, I, I don't really know really. I, I, I always liked the older characters, um, like the teachers. Um, I really enjoyed um, Professor Lupin. Yes. Um, you know, there wasn't enough of Lupin, I feel like, in the films. Hmm? I feel like we should have had more of Lupin. Agreed, yeah, 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 absolutely, because he's, he's much more involved in the books. And I would have liked to have seen more Lupin in the movies, and I love David Thewlis. And um, and Sirius Black as well, which again, we, sh we should have had more of uh, Sirius Black in the movies. And again, Gary Oldman. It's Gary Oldman, incredible. Say, yeah. um, so those two, I always I always quite enjoyed those characters. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Next question, please. Hi, uh, I wanted to know what role you originally auditioned for, and. Uh, I mean, if you auditioned for the roles you ended up with, that's obvious, but if you auditioned for any other roles? For Harry Potter franchise, yes? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously I went in for one of the Patel twins, I just didn't know which... <laughs> I just didn't know which Patel twin I was going for. Um, did you have yeah. a preference? I, I, yeah, I did, I did want to play Pavati because I did want to dance with Harry, but at the end of the day, I'm actually taller than Dan, so they couldn't cast me as Pavati because when we're in the U-Ball and we're dancing, Dan would have to probably wear heels to be dancing with me. So because I was taller than Dan is the reason why I play Padma and Shafari was a lot shorter than me so she played Pavati. But yeah, I auditioned for one of the Patel twins, but yeah, that's how I got the role of Padma and not. Pavati. But how crazy that this small technical detail just You should have seen that. We were the first ones in hair and makeup and the last ones out just to kind of make us look similar because honestly we look nothing alike. <laughs> yeah. um, she had like big platform shoes just to be the same height as me. Um, she, I had That was all my real hair. I had like hair past my bum. She had to have extensions and like a weave put in. And like the little details that you guys didn't see like beauty spots like marked onto our faces, the same jewelry, like stuff like that. Like they really did try. And then she stopped doing them after the like fifth film and then they just gave up. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But, yeah. 
Um, I think I originally just went for any role at all. Um, I was I was such a big fan of the books. Um, I just wanted to be involved with the films in, in some way, shape or form. I didn't really care. I, I, I think I said to my mom, I was like, can I, I just I just want to be in the background. I just want to I want to go to Hogwarts. Um, <laughs> so I didn't really care what role I got and, and um, so I guess yeah I went up for everything. Um, and uh, fortunately they, they asked me to um, to, to recall and, um, and audition again for for Neville, which a role of that size I never, in my wildest dreams, expected that. So thrilled, you know. But I just wanted to be any part of it. I'd have been Dobby. I'd have been anything. Yeah. You'd be the track for a train. Any, literally anything. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Next question, please. Hello. I really wanted to know: um, Did you take something from the set with you back home? And when yes, what? That's a tricky question. We're not allowed to say. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I could, yeah. If you could, I, I imagine. I mean, I borrowed some stuff. Yeah. One day I'll give it back. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's on loan. It's, it's on loan. Yeah. Was it more costumes or just the items? I just took like my the jewelry that I didn't take. Sorry, it just fell into my bag. <laughs> like I'll give it back. Um, the jewelry that I used to wear. Um, the my sign on my dressing. On my room, our dressing room. Oh, that's fine. You can have that. Stuff like that, yeah. You can have that. They're not going to use that again. They just throw that away. Um, and I took a tie. A tie. Yes. A Gryffindor tie. No, can I tell you actually what happened? Shh! Don't look at me like that. Like I've done something. Like it, I on the last day there was two ties in my dressing room, and they're very strict, by the way. And I was like, why is there two ties? Well, you don't need two ties. Or did you think they'd done it on purpose? As a, as a, as a, like a gift. This, is, this is for you, actually. This is for me. So, I said to myself, at the end of the day, if that tie is still there, I'll just borrow it. And I did. And it's done. I'm amused that that was where your brain, I mean, I mean yeah. why else could there possibly be two ties? It must be for me to take home. Of course yeah. you cannot put it on the neck. Two ties on the neck. <laughs> well, nothing like, I wish we could take our wand, but well, obviously not. Like, then we had one place on set. Yeah, I I, shoot it. I I stole quite a bit. Oh wow! Not as much as I would have liked. Um, and I only say that because some of the other guys, uh, Jason Isaac, <coughs> um, would steal everything. <laughs> and they literally split, they started nailing stuff down to stop them from nicking it. Um, and we were at the studio a couple of weeks ago. Um, we were doing this reunion thing, I never heard of it. Um, but, uh, and, and <laughs> everything's now glued down. And me and Tom Fulton were like trying to, like, with our feet up, like, <laughs> just trying to nick shit. Um, but no, I mean, I, I got, uh, I've got Neville's, um, his outfit from the final movie. Um, See, that's not, that's worse than my tie. Yeah, no, it is, yeah, yeah. It's good. You're like judging me for my tie. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not trying to justify it with that no. I thought it was a gift. I just uh, straight nicked it. Oh, like, you just walked out in it. Yeah, did you walk out in it? How can you think of the last No, it? so uh, this is very cool. The one with the cardigan. Like, yeah, it's covered in blood and burns and oh. like, the whole thing, the trousers, the cardigan, the shirt. Um, uh, it, uh, so we we had like a, a dresser, you know, like a, a, you know to come and to, to, to dress us. It's so ridiculous. Um, and he just came into he came into my res my dressing room after we just wrapped on the last day. I won't name names, but he came in and said, "Do you want this?" And I was like, "Can I have it?" He goes, "If you put it in your bag right now, you can have it." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> so I just stuffed it in and and left. And um, so yeah, I've got that. Um, I don't know if that's anyone, on eBay. That's probably, that's on probably eBay, yeah. available. I might have the police at the door next week yeah. asking for that back. And just some of the bits and bobs that I just picked up, like prop things. I've got my false teeth, which that's is cute. It's kind of revolting, but no, yeah, I've, that's I've, I've got but this those. Just made for you. Yeah, I, they don't fit anymore. Did you stop wearing them, like? Yeah, I stopped wearing I them. Um, what the fourth and fifth? Uh, yeah, I kind of fifth, I think. I stopped, yeah. I stopped wearing them, yeah. Um, I used to break them all the time and they were really expensive. It's terrible. How did you Hold break? Teeth, I think. How did you break for Steve? Uh, because I hated having them in. Um, and so I used to take them out all the time and put them in my pocket. And they would just break. Um, 
and suddenly he ended up gluing them into my mouth. Like, like they, they would get like the fixident, like false teeth glue, because they were so sick of me breaking these teeth that they were like, you were gonna, I mean, that's 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 ethical, isn't it, to just glue some teeth into a child's mouth? That's what you do. That's fine. Fair enough. Thank you so much. <laughs> Next question, please. The question's here as well. Hi, Marlene. I wanted to know how similar you feel to you to the character you play in the movie, like you as a person. Oh, me. Um, uh, well, I mean, when I when I first started filming, uh, I I was Neville. I mean, I was I was completely similar. Um, I was not cast for my acting ability. I was cast because I I was Neville. I mean, I was I was a little shy kid, and and I was bumbling and clumsy and and uh, a bit of a oaf. Um, I, I mean, I still am many of those things. Which is also Neville really. He, he became this wonderful hero, but he never really grew out of being a clumsy oaf, which is kind of nice. I like that about it. Um, and I still am. I was just telling the story that I, um, on the plane over, uh, I flew over on uh, Thursday, and um, we just got on the flight, and I, I sat down, and there was a, a businessman next to me, a German businessman, and uh, he was in a full suit, looked very good, very nice. And, um, and we both got a drink, a big glass of some alcohol, and um, and uh, we're f less than five minutes into a ten-hour flight, and I I get up to get something, and I knock over both glasses all over him, all over his suit, his trousers, his chair. Such a Neville thing to do. I was mortified, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, and and everyone's speaking German, and I think they're all talking about me, and I'm so embarrassed, and I was like, oh god, I wish I could speak German, and I hadn't just done that, and, and so even at 32, I'm still doing dumb, clumsy stuff like that, so uh, how similar are we? Very, very similar. Yeah. I don't think I'm similar to my character at all, I mean, obviously she's a twin, I have no sisters, in the books she's very, um, clever with like, she loves Professor Trelawney and stuff, I'm not very like, I'm just, yeah, I don't think I'm... You're not into your horoscopes? I'm not into my horoscopes, really. I know nothing about, I just know I'm an Aquarius, I don't know much mm, about okay, it. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, I just don't think I'm... Alright, thank you so much. Um, next question, please, there in the back. Um, if you could be any character in any movie, who would you be? Any character? Any movie? Any, that's very wrong. Uh, anything at all? That's very wrong. Uh, Go more superhero, more drama, more comedy. Where are we going with that? I probably want to play Cruella Deville. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, 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 Oh, yeah, right here, yeah. That is true. No, I'm not, I'm just generally, I've got a fear of dogs. Of dogs? Yeah. What do you remember? So when I was small, when I was young, everyone's going to hate me now. Um, <laughs> I got chased by a dog, and I never knew. My mum told me, like, you got chased down the street, and that's just installed in me. Oh, okay, so now right, when I yeah. a dog, I just find it. Oh, that's awful. I'm going to spend time with a dog. You need to work on that, because yeah, they're the, the best thing ever. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, Cruella de Vil, I don't know why I just said that, but yeah, I'll, I'll take that. That's a tough question. I'd probably think about it and then come up with something better, but for now. Um, I think... Batman? Uh, yeah, no. I was trying, I was thinking that, no? No, no, no. It's see too you. many bloody Batmans. Um, I, I would, you know, I would, one of my things I would always like to do, and I don't want to do it for a long time, I wouldn't want to do uh, lots of episodes and lots of series, but I would love to, to do, as a guest spot one day, I would love to play a Starfleet captain. That's what I would like to do. Um, I, I can die very early on, very quickly. Um, you know, but maybe, maybe really gloriously uh, crash my ship into another one. Um, but I would like to be a Starfleet captain. That would be cool one day, yeah. That would be really cool. Yeah. That's a good one. Thank you so much. That was a good question. Next one, please. Which character do you hate the most? Hate the most? Anything. Oh. Hate is a very, very heavy word. It is. Slightly dislike. Right, I'll say umbrage. 
I think Martha Stewart and just like played her incredible. For me to say that shows what incredible actress yeah. she is as well. Yeah. So you went for an evil character. I'm not gonna say oh I hate Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> My like, I was like uh, wrong. I like, no. Um, who do I hate? I don't really. I dislike. Who do I dislike? Just love everybody. Oh. Is that little annoying uh, creature. Yeah. 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 He's a bit freaky. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Creature. I didn't like him. Yeah. Does he become a good guy at the end? No. He stays bad. Yeah. Good. I, yeah, I don't like yeah, him. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, guys, we have time for one last juicy really? question. Uh, so let's do maybe the two less juicy ones. We can do one here, and if you could then later move to this side, it would be great. Okay. What's your favorite house in Harry Potter? What's your favorite house in Harry Potter? Uh, well, I, I, uh, my house uh, in real life is uh, Hufflepuff, um, which is fine. Um, he says to himself, <laughs> "No, it's fine." Um, but uh, you know, Gryffindor is the is the best, isn't it? Or, or I'll say Hufflepuff, because it's my I have to. Hufflepuff, yeah. Yes. And for you? Gryffindor. Gryffindor, of course, of course. Alright guys, one last juicy question from this section. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> in which scene would you have wished you could have been more in? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. In which scene in Harry Potter do you wish you could be more in? So more included in any scenes you ran very in? You know? Wait, which scene uh, do I wish I could be more in? Uh, more, yeah. Ah, yeah, okay, right, fine. Um, that's, oh, a, that's, that's, that's a really good question. question. Um, that's a good question. Yikes. Um, I wish, personally, obviously I'm never gonna, I would never, but I wish I could have been in like the Weasley house. Like just I don't know as Ginny's friend, just go over to the Weasley's house and just I just love the Weasley family and just like you know Miss Weasley to cook with something. Um, but yeah, I love all the scenes with the Weasley family. <laughs> all the scenes. All the scenes with the Weasley um, family. I well, I, my my original answer was going to be the Quidditch, but having my brief experience on a broomstick, uh, it's. Really uncomfortable, so um, I wouldn't want to be doing that. Actually, I've changed my mind. Um, I think I, I, what I, I like shooting on location quite a lot, and we, we did a lot of stuff in the studio, which is great. But I always like the novelty of going out on location um, to different places, and uh, so in, in in the Deathly Hallows Part One, when they're kind of on the run and they're going around London and, and places like that. I would have liked to have been involved in those scenes, so I could have been sort of... Like Piccadilly and like... Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all like the night bus scene when he, in, in Azkaban where he's going through this London, like... I would have quite enjoyed to do those things, um, outside the studio. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. Unfortunately, it's the whole time that we have for this panel, wow. but thank you so much for being here with us. You Thank have you. a lovely fan base, and we do. We have the yeah. best fans. Absolutely. You guys to crazy. still be here after 20 years or like how many years? It's wild. It's, it's wild. Like you guys have. Thank you so much for coming as well and even having us as well. Thank you so much. Guys. I'm just gonna wait right there because I'm gonna get a picture with me and Matt with you guys in the background. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Yeah, of course.